this morning. This question came through in the comments on my channel from Jack Pepsi. And it says that he's working in an R&D department. Uh, and just to paraphrase this, he's got an assembly and it has two positions, uh, full extended and closed. And he wants to, what I can read from this, place two views of the same assembly on the same drawing and show the assembly in its two different positions. But he's finding at the moment that when he changes the position, it's changing in both views. Uh, and he says, is there a way of locking the view so that it doesn't change uh, when he changes the position in both views? Uh, of course you can. Jack Pepsi, get it, can, Pepsi can. Uh, anyway, right. So, yes, you can. It's relatively simple. It shouldn't take too long. So I've got an assembly here. It's not uh, a thingy that straddles a conveyor, but it's a robot. It can move up and down. So what we're going to do is work with positional representations, which at the moment, and by default, it should be empty. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create a constraint, a simple angular constraint from here down to, say, here, and just make that zero degrees. Right, so that's the that's the assembly in its kind of closed position. So what we'll do is we'll hop on over to a drawing and then we'll drop this down onto a drawing just to kind of show you what happens. Right, so there's the there's the robot in its closed position. Right, let's make it colourful just so it's uh, just so it looks pro. Yeah, I say you can make that off that, couldn't you? Right, no, I don't want to project it. Then we're gonna create a second view over here. And as you can see, it's in its same position. Uh, in fact, let's, let's keep this one black and white, but just turn on hidden lines. Right, so basically what happens is when you go to the constraint, which will be this angular one down here, and then you change that to, say, 45 degrees, or 453. Either way, it, you get the desired effect, and then go back to the drawing. You can see both of them change, uh, because it's essentially the same view of the same thing in the same state. So how do we get around this? Well, it's pretty easy, right? So we're just going to knock that back down to zero degrees and we're going to come into the position representations and make a new one and then you get position one. So what we're going to do is we're going to call this uh, robot down, yeah? And then we're going to right click on position again and then we're going to create another positional representation called robot up. So whilst robot up is ticked, we're going to scroll down to that constraint, right? That's the constraint there that drives the up down position of the robot. Right click on it, and I'm going to go to override. This overrides the constraint whilst that positional representation is ticked. So we're going to override it to a value of 45 degrees. Right. So if we come back up to the positions, you've got robot down, double click that, it's at zero, robot up, that activates the override and it moves that constraint to 45 degrees. So you can see there that this constraint is in bold, that shows you that, well, whatever's in bold, it's saying that whilst that positional representation is activated, these, or well, in this case, this constraint is overridden to be 45 degrees, put it back down to robot down, and it's back down to zero degrees. So how does that help us with a drawing? Right, well, let's save this, and you've got to be in the master to save it. So we're going to click Save, come back over to the drawing, and this is dead easy. All you do is you double-click your view, and then in the representation area here, as you say, this view, I want to show the robot in the robot down position. Okay, this view, double-click it, I want to show the robot in the up position. And then there you go. It's as easy as that. Uh, positional representations are really powerful as well. You can use Inventor Studio to animate the robot moving between two different positions, go from this position to that position. And if you've got multiple constraints set up, it'll move them all at the same time. It's pretty cool. Different video, though. That's one for a different video. But there you go. That's how you, uh, that's what I think, that's what I think our Jack Pepsi wants uh, from what I can read from his question. Uh, but uh, if it's not, either way, someone else might take something from this nonetheless. Right. <laughs> Thank you very much. I'll see you in the next one. Toodle.